Hi guys, welcome to this video, and today we're going to be talking about Chrome Flags, or more commonly known as Chrome Experiments. Basically, Google has these experimental features that they let us users try in Chrome, and in turn they collect data on whether those features should be added to Chrome on a later date. Nonetheless, these are called experiments for a reason, therefore some are good and some are bad. My job here is to filter through, and I've picked 8 Chrome experiments that will improve your browsing experience while using Chrome. Oh yeah, if you want to access these experiments, you just have to type Chrome, colon double slash, flags, and a whole list of them will come out. Also, all of them can be used with Chrome OS, Windows, and Linux devices, while most of them can be used on Android and Mac OS. Furthermore, all experiments will be linked in the description below. Now that you know, let's get started with the video. First and foremost, GPU rasterization. Sometimes when using Chrome, your CPU usage might be very high. One way to know is probably your computer sounding like a lawnmower. So enabling this feature will take some load off the CPU and give it to the GPU. This is better because generally, your CPU has less processing power than your GPU. Therefore, this way, your Chrome browsing experience will be very quick and reliable. Next up, parallel downloading. Do you remember when you download multiple files in Chrome? And it takes a really long time. You might even need to leave your computer overnight. So turning on this experiment helps Chrome download all the files that you have, but faster. Basically, this flag accelerates download speeds by breaking the files into smaller chunks, similar to how download managers for Windows work. This way, your downloads will be faster, while being able to download multiple files at a time. Next, Hover Cards. This experiment helps us preview the image of the tab in the form of a hover card. Basically, it shows what's on the tab without clicking into it like this. This is especially helpful when you're dealing with a lot of Chrome tabs. For example, you want to compare prices between items when buying from Amazon. Using hover cards, this will be very easy. Next up, smooth scrolling. As simple as it sounds, it's actually quite useful. It removes choppy scrolling or even screen tear at times. You know, it removes the bad animations that you might encounter while scrolling. Scrolling has never been this smooth. Therefore, many people with high refresh rate monitors will appreciate. Moving on, dark mode. What is dark mode? Actually, who doesn't use dark mode? So as you know, if you turn this experiment on, it will change every site you open from light mode to dark mode. This way, it can reduce the strain in your eyes while browsing, and in some cases, may reduce your battery consumption. Next up, heavy ad mitigation. Yes, ads. They pop up everywhere on your website. Even if you close them, sometimes, it'll pop up again and again. So what this experiment does is that if Chrome picks up that the ad is resource heavy, it will immediately and automatically shut the ad for you. In the end, you won't see any aggressive pop-up ads anymore. Up next, we have collapse freezing. There's no denying that Chrome takes a lot of RAM from your device. Turning this experiment on helps freeze Chrome tabs that you have grouped. It saves a lot of memory because it freezes a tab that we don't use. In other words, the frozen tabs do not take up any RAM. This way, your device only spends memory on the tabs that we have open. Last but not least, Memories. So memories group your history, so you can find your history much easier. Rather than having a messy history log, using memories, they only show the most relevant pages you have browsed on a given day. This way, looking at your history log will be much cleaner. So yeah, those were 8 Chrome experiments that you can start using from now. Once again, thank you for watching, and if you like this content, don't hesitate to like and subscribe for more. See you in the next video!